Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, after months of anticipation, it's finally here, LMDE7, also known as Linux Mint Debian Edition 7, is now officially available for download. And yeah, if you've been waiting to see what the Mint team's been cooking up based on Debian instead of Ubuntu, this one's for you. All right, let's break it down. LMDE7 is based on Debian Linux 13 Trixie, it's none done. And it features the Cinnamon 6.4.13 desktop environment. Basically, that means you're getting all the cool stuff from Linux Mint 22.2 Zara, but on a pure Debian base. So if you've ever wanted that classic Mint experience without depending on Ubuntu, LMDE is the answer. This release is powered by the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel, which gives you long-term support and great hardware compatibility out of the box. Now let's talk about what's new. Some highlights include things like fingerprint authentication via the new Fingwit app, accent color support for XDG desktop portal X app, better Libadweta compatibility, updated themes, and uh, yeah, an improved Wayland session for smoother performance. Pretty nice upgrades overall. But here's a big one. LMDE 7 finally supports OEM installations. That means manufacturers can now pre-install Linux Mint Debian Edition on machines that they sell worldwide. And as Clément Lefebvre, the lead developer, put it, this is a very important feature and one of the last missing pieces for LMDE. It's also handy for anyone donating or selling a computer and wanting to ship it with a clean, pre-installed Mint setup. Super useful, right? Now, if you're wondering, why does LMDE even exist? Well, the idea is pretty straightforward. It's a backup plan. LMDE ensures that Linux Mint can still deliver the same experience even if Ubuntu ever goes away. It's also a great testing ground for Mint's developers to make sure all their in-house apps work perfectly outside of Ubuntu. So yeah, LMDE 7, codenamed Gigi, is now officially available. You can grab it from the official Linux Mint website right now. And it's an LTS release, meaning it'll get software and security updates for several years. If you want to check out known issues or extra details, make sure to read the release notes before installing. So that's LMDE7, Debian-based, long-term support, and packed with fresh features. What do you think? Will you be switching to LMDE7 or sticking with regular Linux Mint? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe for more Linux updates, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and happy minting.